Hello and welcome to the second video in the welding series. In this video we're going to be looking at welding quality and the common defects. So let's have a look what we mean by welding quality. Weld quality can mean different things depending upon the application. Take a vessel that needs to be hermetically sealed. The weld here needs to be far superior to a weld on two pieces of steel that are just tacked together simply for positional functionality. It is often a case of public safety rather than aesthetics, in which case poor weld quality that leads to product failure can result in damage to property, personal injury and even fatalities. It is important that you specify your weld quality requirements in your product specification sheet, which may also include the required regulations and industry specific test requirements. It is also important to understand the different weld defects so that you can ensure your product is inspected for any potential defects. We cover the most common defects in the next section. To start with, let's have a look at weld porosity. Now, weld porosity is just a cavity or a void in the metal caused by excess gas being trapped inside the weld. These cavities will reduce the overall strength and integrity of the weld joint, thus reducing the quality of the weld. Weld porosity can be difficult to detect visually during an inspection and more often than not requires non-destructive testing such as x-ray inspection. How to avoid porosity? Well, you need to make sure that all surfaces to be welded are prepared correctly and kept clean. Check the gas flow. The more gas, the more turbulent the air becomes. Ensure all the equipment is in good operational condition. Leaking hoses can cause inconsistent gas flow. Here we have a typical weld porosity sample. Lack of fusion. The lack of fusion is where the weld metal and the base metal do not fully fuse during the welding process. Improper fusion can also appear between adjoining weld beads. This creates a gap in the joint that is not filled with molten metal. The main reason for the occurrence of lack of fusion is insufficient energy input at the weld area. Consequently, the parent metal in the weld groove or the previous made beads are not heated up to the melting temperature that is required for the metal to mix with the material and make a uniform weld. How to avoid lack of fusion. The main reasons are too narrow a joint preparation and incorrect welding parameter settings, poor weld technique and magnetic arc blow. Lack of fusion is shown here and you can see clearly that there are a number of areas where lack of fusion could occur. Weld distortion. Distortion of metal during a weld is very common due to the slow traverse speed and high heat during the welding process. This distortion can lower the quality of the weld joint as the metal needs to be reprocessed to correct the distortion. This correction can put stress and strain on the weld joint. On the right, we show the different distortion types. Before welding, make sure that the material to be connected is straight and the tack weld is strong. You must have a qualified welding sequence. Inclusions in the weld. Inclusions occur more commonly when welding thick materials, ones that require several passes, particularly when using flux coated core rods. Each weld pass generates slag that covers the weld pool. If this slag is not removed before additional passes are made, it can enter the weld. When slag enters the weld, it can cause contamination and therefore weakness. 
how to avoid inclusions. Make sure that every interrun is clean. To prevent a slag inclusion, make sure the electrode angle is correct. Weld undercuts. Undercutting is when the weld reduces the cross-sectional thickness of the base metal and which reduces the strength of the weld and the workpiece. Undercutting is a groove or crater that occurs near the toe of the weld. When this weld flaw occurs, the weld metal fails to fill in the grooved area, resulting in a weak weld that is prone to cracking along the toes. You can see a good example in this image here. How to avoid undercuts? Well, overheating can melt the parent metal causing an undercut, so ensure you carefully monitor weld heat and adjust the current accordingly. Have the electrode at the correct angle will help with defect-free welds. Inconsistent process. Inconsistent weld process will result in a poor quality weld. This inconsistency can include travel speed, varying arc height, inconsistent voltage, incorrect voltage and amp settings, inconsistent gas flow. This image shows the following defects due to inconsistent process. Image A, B and D are induced by insufficient melting of filler wire when the feeding speed of the filler wire is too high or the distance between the filler wire and the heat source is too large. Image C shows the weld seam that is discontinuous and bumpy, which is caused by irregular filler wire feed. How to avoid inconsistency? Well, that's simple. You need to ensure that you follow best welding practices and always follow the welding specification document guidelines. Arc strikes. Now, arc strikes are marks on the workpiece where an arc has been created unintentionally. These arc strikes are not just unsightly, but they can also have a detrimental effect on the steel structure as the metal is heated and cooled rapidly, which can cause the metal to become brittle, which could be a stress concentration point for a crack to propagate. How to avoid arc strikes? Well, access to welding should be easier. Periodically check the electrode holder and provides a place to put the electrode holder. You can see these unsightly and potentially dangerous arc strikes here. Poor weld penetration. Incomplete or poor penetration is where both sides of the root area are not fused. This results in a weak weld that could fail under stress or strain. Poor weld penetration can occur for multiple reasons. Misplaced welds, root gap too small, incorrect weld settings, and the bevel angle incorrect. This image on the right shows some examples of an incomplete joint penetration. How to avoid poor weld penetration? Well, you must ensure that the welding current is suitable for the welding procedure. And you also need to use the correct diameter electrode suitable with material thickness. Cracks. Now let's have a look at hot crack and cold cracks. There are two types of crack defects when it comes to poor weld quality, hot cracking and cold cracking. To start with, let's have a look at hot cracking. And this occurs when the metal gets too hot and remains hot in the solidifying stage. If the stress is too high during the solidification stage, cracking will occur. So how do we avoid hot cracking? Well, we need to reduce the heat input during welding which lessens the time for segregation to occur. We need to modify the joint design so the depth to width ratio is not too great or too small. And make welds with more throat thickness 
or that are less concave. This image here on the right shows us various different stages or placements which cracks could occur. Let's switch over to cold cracking. This could occur instantly, minutes or even hours after the welded joint has been completed. This type of defect is caused by a simultaneous combination of three factors. A tempered structure, uh, hard and fragile, residual mechanical stress related to clamping for example, and the presence of diffusible hydrogen in the weld bead. Again, we're looking at this same image where the cracks could occur on right here. So how to avoid cold cracking? Backstepping the weld is one way to help prevent cold cracking and it serves as a type of stress relieving. To perform this technique, you, one, weld in one direction for a short length. The next step is return to just prior to the start of the last weld. And then you repeat the weld pass, stopping at the start of the first weld. And this process just continues throughout the pass. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this welding series. You can contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. For more specialist information, visit our materials and processes page. Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams from Southeast, and I shall see you in the next video.